Welcome back to Am Sam Fam. We're doing things a little differently today. We have gotten so many questions about the healthcare system and our facilities here, and we've been waiting to do a video until one of us needed to use the healthcare system, go to the doctor or something, and we just have not been needing to. But I have a friend who is days away from having a baby, so I asked her, if we could just follow her through the rest of her pregnancy journey so that we can show you guys what it's like to be pregnant and to have a baby give birth and everything here in American Samoa. So we're going to meet up. I've got Kip here in the car with me and we're going to go meet up with her and her family so you can meet them and then our other friend is going to watch all the kids today so that we can go kid free and be able to focus on her appointment and getting this video to show you guys LBJ Hospital, our main hospital here, and the healthcare system here in American Samoa. about Levana's experience here in American Samoa, labor, delivery, and through the pregnancy. So if anybody is a little squeamish about pregnancy or labor topics, then this is your one and only warning. <laughs> if you stick with us, then you get what, whatever comes. You get the full experience. <laughs> We 
won't be able to be in there filming you. <laughs> so we're just going to have to tell about the experience instead of showing it. Okay. They have two beds in every room. And there's just a curtain that separates them. Okay. The very when I gave birth to Zeke, there was two ladies in every room. It was so busy that day. No epidurals. Right? No epidural. <laughs> like Natural. on the island, there are no epidurals. So we've got strong women here who just go all natural every single time. Yes. <laughs> That's really, really awesome and amazing. So after you've labored and you get to the point that you're ready to deliver, you walk to the delivery room, hop up on the bed, <laughs> and then everybody's all ready, sanitized, the doctor's in there, the nurses, you have your partner, whoever's in there with you. Baby. Have baby. <laughs> yeah, you have a baby. They give you the baby right away, which is really important, you know, for the skin to scan right after. Right, yeah. Can the dad or the partner cut the cord? I know with the he didn't, Ezra didn't. I don't know if maybe because it's not something commonly asked, so the doctors are just used to to cutting it, um, and I don't recall if he did with, with Lila either. I'm not sure if, if you asked, maybe they would. Maybe it depends upon each doctor, or, or how some ladies keep the placenta after. Now, keeping the placenta, yeah, I don't know that that's common even in the, that's the main true. room. That's true. But I, I think most places you have the option to. Yeah. So, oh, that's interesting. Yeah, the, the cords cut right after, and then you have baby, um, and then they stitch up. <laughs> this might be too personal, but the episiotomy, is that common? Do they just do it for everybody? My friend's From experiences, mm -hmm. it is common, and they just do it. I make it clear I do not want an episiotomy, unless it's absolutely necessary. Just then, Lavana's number was called, so we got to head back. I wasn't sure if they would let me keep filming once we were inside, but everybody was fine with it. They did double check with Lavana to make sure she was okay with it too. Because Lavana's pregnancy was high risk, they decided to do a non-stress test just to double check baby's heart rate, make sure everything was good there too. And we were just sitting here talking about our different experiences and uh, Levon was asking me some questions about different procedures happening, um, if I got them or not. And I was thinking back, because it's been a few years since I've <laughs> had my babies. And so I was remembering that for our first, for Hadley, I had Medicaid. And so I think it cost us like $90 total. Then we had Holden, our middle son, and we were not on Medicaid. We paid for insurance. And even after paying for insurance, it cost, I don't remember, way more than that. I, I can't even remember how much. But so after having Holden, we got that final bill and had that initial s sticker shock. What? How could it possibly cost that much? We got this itemized bill of everything we were charged for and we started looking through it like, okay, that? I don't think that was necessary. <laughs> Next baby, we're asking for that not to happen. Nope, not that one. Nope, not that one. And so we seriously, when I was pregnant with Kip, I'd go into the doctor and she'd say, okay, let's order this test and this test. I'm like, mm, can we not do that one? And can we not do that one? And she looked at me like it was crazy. Like, uh, I'm the doctor. I'm saying we should order these tests. I'm like, yeah, but I'm the one who has to pay the bill. Okay. And I don't want to pay for those things. Everything feels fine. That wasn't ideal to have to decide between taking the doctor's advice and uh, shelling out the money. <laughs> yeah. So for every appointment, we don't pay. Okay. And the only thing that I will pay for is when we have the baby. Okay. Maybe a hundred dollars, <laughs> maybe a little bit more, um, and that's for having a that's for having a whole baby. Yeah, that's and, uh, everything. Like a even nice with a high risk pregnancy, yep. non-stress tests, labs that we get done, 
you know, ultrasounds, you know, you know stress tests. People get frustrated because maybe it's a little bit slower for them. But then remember, you're not paying for anything. Yeah. And the nurses and the doctors are doing the best that they can. Yeah. And they're really good here. They're really good. You mentioned that before Seek, you had Zika. Yes. Sometimes there's like outbreaks of Zika or dengue. Chikungunya. Yeah. It was terrible. I got pregnant with Zeke a month or two later, and then I had asked them to please check me because, you know, when you're pregnant, we all know how high risk and it is to have Zika when you're pregnant, right. what it does to the baby. Like, I don't know how long Zika stays in your system. Yeah. To my understanding at that point, it will always be in your blood. Okay. But I did test positive for it. But I didn't have any symptoms of Zika any longer. But they did treat Ezekiel like it was a Zika pregnancy. Mm -hmm. And so I came every two weeks and I would get ultrasounds every two weeks to measure, you know, his limbs, his head, make sure everything was growing on track, which they were great about being proactive here, taking their time, checking everybody thoroughly, making sure the baby was good. The non-stress test showed that baby's heart rate was a little bit high, so the doctor ordered an ultrasound as well, just a double and triple check on baby. We waited maybe five minutes, but we didn't wait too much because it's always fun to see a baby on an ultrasound, especially for a new mom who's just waiting to meet her new baby girl. Just to let you know, moms do not get a printed out picture from their ultrasound to take home with them. But don't worry, Lavana did not have long to wait to meet her baby face to face. Lavana had her baby, woo! So I am heading to the hospital right now to LBJ and we're gonna go see new little baby and see how Lavana is doing. She says she's doing well and baby's doing well. Baby's name is Liliana and we are going to go meet her in person for the very first time. But she's here, thankfully she's here. Yeah. Doing well. Yeah, she's doing good. Just, they're really good. Ezra did a good job coaching me, good. the midwife. They did a good job. It's just separated with the curtain, so when you're laboring and there's someone else in your room and they're not laboring, it's kind of awkward. So yesterday when I was laboring, my partner in my room was not and so it's just like of course you're not trying to be loud you don't want to be loud but you can't control labor pains yeah and so I felt a little bit awkward self-conscious yeah in the states you have like your own room like with a door that you close in your own bathroom mm -hmm. Not here, everything is shared. Every lady that has a baby, they get a bag. So you've got diapers, a changing pad, it has a, a Huggies onesie in there. And then it's a Nivea um, kit. Yeah. Hello. Nice. Very cool. And a cute book for baby. That's awesome. That's really nice. They give it to every every lady. Good for you guys, TML. Thanks right. for thinking of our moms. Totally. It's been a few weeks since Liliana was born and How's it going, Lavana? It's going. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's good. Life of three kids is a lot different than life of two kids. It is. So how old is she now? She just turned one month on the 19th. 
Oh, and she is adorable, growing well Thank and you. eating like a champ. <laughs> Good girl. She's sound asleep right now. <laughs> right after when I came to the hospital, you were tired. You had just had a baby. <laughs> <laughs> So I wanted to just ask you some questions about how birth and recovery and everything went there at LBJ. Yeah. I remember you mentioning a midwife. So you used a midwife? Well, she was the on-call. Okay. If you would like a midwife, yes, there is one on island. Her name is Anne Longnecker. She's had like over 20 years of experience. She delivered five of Melly's six kids. And she delivered Lila, and so she was on call when Lily was born and delivered her. <laughs> Did Ezra cut the cord? No. He didn't. Okay. And I was asking him after, I said, Did you get to cut the cord? And he was like, No. I thought he thought he was going to be able to, but I think that maybe the doctors they just get used to cutting it on their yeah, own that part of their routine yeah that they don't ask and so with lily he cut her i'm sorry lila he cut her cord so i think he was just thinking oh okay they're they're going to let me but Fine. i pushed her out and she's here so it worked out i feel like most labor and delivery nurses are there because they want to be there which yeah. makes a big difference yeah i really like the nurses it makes it a lot easier and maybe you feel more welcome and there's that certain level of caring because like you said you do want to be there you're bringing babies into the world what kind of <laughs> You better have some joy like, yeah. <laughs> you're helping welcome babies into the world <laughs> But they're yeah. all really good. I was, you know, you get to that point in labor where you're like, I can't, I can't do it anymore. And I was at that point. I was like, I, I can't. Like, I don't know what to do. I, I feel like I just can't anymore. Ezra yeah. did a really good job coaching me. Like, breathe, take your time, you know. And then our nurse. We, we know. I mean, it's a small island. You're going to know the nurses. You're going to know the doctors <laughs> outside of the hospital. Yeah. She was like, when I was, I can't do it. I can't do it. And she was like, breathe, breathe. And she's like, Fauna, look at me. Look me in the eye. And I was like, I can't. <laughs> and she was like, you can do it. You just breathe. Aww. You can do it. Just a couple more, you know, breaths, a couple more contractions, push it. Baby's gonna be here, you can do it. So it was a really good pep talk. Good, so like, what you needed. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> but Ezra, thank you too, but thank you. <laughs> so do you get any kind of pain medicine? Like no. Advil or, um, I don't know that that would even do, touch the pain. Tylenol. So I had an epidural with each of my babies. So I don't know <laughs> if Advil yeah. would do anything. We can give you Tylenol after. Yeah, it's all the drill free. Just you and Mother all Nature. Oh, natural. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. That is amazing. <laughs> well, Lavana, I just wanted to say thank you so much for letting me follow you <laughs> around you. through your pregnancy and, and mm. come see you at the hospital afterwards. So happy that Lilian is here and everything went well. Do you have any last things to say to anybody who is considering coming to the island and they might be pregnant while they're here or somebody who's here and getting to the point of possibly getting pregnant? I think just being patient. Um, I mean, I've never had a child off island, so I don't know the difference. You don't pay for your hospital visits and I mean, it, like for us to get discharged is less than two hundred dollars that's to have a baby that's and we like were there total. for two nights and advocating, advocating for yourself, for yourself yeah. so important especially if you're a high risk i mean you know your body yeah, I, I think those are good anywhere where you're having a yeah. baby i know for me where i had babies they do things a certain way and if you want it different you just have to let them know here it's harder to get things like witch hazel or mm. tux 
you don't have a Walmart to just run to right. and get this, this, and, and good luck. <laughs> If you guys have any other questions about being pregnant here or having a baby, labor, delivery, recovery, all of that, make sure to let us know in the comments down below. And if I don't have the answer, I'll refer you to Lavana. <laughs> <laughs> or I'll find out and let you know. <laughs> make sure to give us that thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already. And we'll see you again next week. Bye. <laughs> <laughs>